Hi, welcome to my shop and welcome to my channel. Today I have something I'm really excited about. This is the Saiyi MK32 Enterprise Ground Station. This is an all-in-one data link RC ground station for any type of RC vehicle or use you may have, whether it be aircraft, boats, robotics, almost anything. This is the standard bundle, which comes in a nice case. Included in the standard bundle are a set of omnidirectional antennas, a spare set of omnidirectional antennas, also directional antennas, charger, charger cord, a USB-A to USB-C adapter, the air unit, a BEC that allows you to use up to 18S battery power system, and LAN, serial, S-Bus cables. You can also get a dual link or dual ground station system with either a repeater or two of these MK32 units to give you double the range or to be able to hand off a long flight to another operator for landing on the other end. There is almost unlimited application. Saiyi does provide an SDK for, for application development. Um, this unit has pretty much any interface that you need here on the top. As you can see also it has these waterproof covers or IPX4 waterproof rating covers. Here is HDMI with a microphone input on this side. USB-A for connecting to PC where you can watch use it with Q ground control. On the bottom, we have a serial port and a headphone output, or perhaps that's a microphone, I think it's a headphone output. Then this is really nice here, there is a 4G SIM card along with micro SD, so you can connect this to a cellular network for more productivity and flexibility. Then here is USB-C, which I believe is used primarily for firmware updates etc so you can connect this to a PC you connect it to external displays just about any application you can think of this has the functionality to make it work it has many three position switches I'm missing my cover for this one but I'll take care of that soon it has high quality gimbals they feel very firm very solid control three position switches over here and we have sliders or variable resistors that have a center detent S1, S2, two more toggles up here and scroll wheels on the back it does have a removal battery pack I do not believe that this that there is a separate charging station for this yet I, I, I think that Sae is, is in the works on that but I, I'm not certain so don't quote me on that one this thing is it's large. It has, you know, feels very good in your hands. It, it, it's very comfortable, very ergonomic. And I believe they also have a, uh, or there might be an aftermarket shoulder strap with a, with a platform that will hold it right here while you're in the field. The air unit works with most fly controllers that have a UART data link output um, and it has PPM uh, oh I'm sorry I meant to also this has PPM output for head tracking as well um, the air unit will work obviously with Saiyi's fly controller but it works with pretty much all PX4 APM type fly controllers um, as long as they have the certain standard output and input protocols. I don't know anything else about this unit yet. It's going to be installed in, to operate my Taro 680 Pro drone. I'm also going to be using Saiyi's new A8 Mini 4K 3-axis gimbal camera, which I'm excited about that too. Um, I will make more videos and include more data as I go through the installation process. I'll make sure to take notes, make videos, because there's not a lot of content out there for people like me. Um, and I, and I, I'm an engineer 
by background and by trade and my profession, but I'm a hobbyist when it comes to uh, UAV systems. So this is uh, this is this is this can be an intimidating learning curve here, but I don't think it is necessarily going to be difficult. I think it's just there's not a lot of information out there for people who want to try this system. So that's I'm going to try to provide that information and that that input so that everyone can have a better understanding of this system will work for their needs. And I'm telling you, it will work for your needs. It has pretty much all the functionality that you could ever want. And it does have an IP4X or IPX4 waterproof rating. Now, let me be clear about that. That is good for rain. That will handle light and moderate rain from any direction, as long as you have the covers in place, um, which includes this one that I've got to get replaced. But uh, it is by no means submersible. So there's a lot, people throw the term waterproof around uh, kind of haphazardly, and it's not waterproof. It is water resistant. But it's certainly water resistant enough that you can be in the field, get caught in a rainstorm, and not have to worry about your equipment being damaged. Until next time, thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Have a good day.